Hi, Barry Foster here and welcome back to The Scottish Job. This is episode number 33 with uh, Glenn Roths. And this time for season number three, we're kicking off in the Scottish Lowland League. And as you can see, we've got an opening game today against Anan Athletic at home. But uh, before we get to that match, let's have a look at the uh, the players who have uh, left us and some of the uh, the new arrivals at uh, Glen Roth. So we'll go to transfer history. I think we'll kick off with um, the, some of the new players coming in. The first one was Jordan Allen. We signed him on a free transfer. I was quite surprised to get him. He's only 24, um, a striker. He likes to be a poacher. And so far in pre-season, he's done pretty well, scoring three goals for us. So I think he's going to be quite a good signing. Um, we've also signed quite a few other players. Kai Bell uh, on a free transfer. He's only 19 years of age. Signed him as a fringe player, but um, I reckon he's not bad uh, Bad for a, a central defender at 18. And so far in pre-season, he seems to have performed okay in, uh, in some matches. Sean Lawton, we uh, signed him from Bamber Bridge. Only 19, a left fullback. And I think he's going to be very, very good. But he does have a gashed up a leg today, so he won't be playing in an opening game of the season. But I think he's going to be a very good re uh, replacement for Charlie Denton, who uh, did leave us. Uh, Connor Easton, um, he is uh, signed, well, we've got him on loan from Fleetwood. Uh, only 19 years of age, a goalkeeper. I think he's going to be quite good. I think he'll... Uh, He'll compete with uh, Richardson for a spot between the sticks this, this season. So I was quite good to get Connor Easton. Adam King on a uh, free transfer, 27-year-old ball-winning midfielder. Once again, he has not performed too badly in pre-season, so I'm quite happy with his signing. Also, Greg Stewart on a free, only 21 years of age, uh, a Mazala. He was actually signed as, as a replacement to... Um, Bell, who unfortunately uh, refused to sign a contract with us at the end of last season. Charlie Edwards. Now, he's a, this is a bit of a story. He, um, he demanded to be uh, allowed to talk to a number of clubs who, who approached him, who wanted to sign him, and he ended up signing for Dunfermline Athletic. I wasn't really too happy to see him go, but part of the deal was that we, we got him back on loan for the rest of the season. So um, in the end, I wasn't too uh, upset about this because he's only 19. He was an extremely good left winger for us last season. And I'm very glad that we got him back on loan for the, uh, for the entire season. We also signed uh, Ben Hammond on a free transfer, only 18 years of age, another central defender. And I think he will be, uh, I think, quite good in that position. He's only just arrived at the club. So he hasn't had any game time, but um, I'm quite good with, I'm quite, quite pleased with that signing. And Keelan Leslie from Carlisle on loan, a left fullback, um, mainly signed as a bit of a backup in, um, in that position. But he's just arrived at the club, so he hasn't seen any game time either. Now, on the... Um, on the players leaving, as I said, Charlie Denton, I, I don't know whether I've done the right thing here. He's gone and signed a contract at Leith. He was an extremely good uh, player for us at left fullback last season. And in fact, even uh, over the two seasons, he's done very, very well. And as you can see, he'd scored a total of, what, 14 goals. 14 goals in just uh, two seasons. I think last season, those 10 goals all came from the penalty spot. He was a very good penalty taker. But I did allow him to go. As I said, I'm not quite too sure whether I've uh, made the right decision or not. Um, with other players who have um, left us, if we go to released players, um, quite a few. Matthew Flynn left us, left us and in the end I decided against uh, uh, giving him a new contract, mainly because of his age, because uh, he's 34 now. Ollie Walters, he also left us. Uh, Declan Dunn. He left us because he refused to sign a new contract. Carl Bell, same with him. He, he refused to sign a new contract. Abdul Youssef was a youngster, not getting much uh, game time in the starting 11 or really the first team, so I allowed him to go. Dylan Honeyman, that was another tough decision to make. Um, he was, for memory, my captain from last season, but I allowed him to go on a free transfer. And uh, Brendan Cameron, a young striker, who um, had fairly good 
finishing uh, attributes, but um, at 17, I don't think he was going to really feature in the, uh, the first team this season, so I allowed him to go as well. So in a nutshell, that's the ins and outs when it comes to personnel. If we want to look at um, schedule, we played uh, five pre-season uh, matches and ended up with five victories. I guess um, the best was probably a 3-1 victory over Dundee B, followed by a 4-0 victory over Livingston B, and also the 2-0 victory over Gateshead. It wasn't a bad result as well, considering Gateshead are in the National League in England. But as you can see, today we're home to an Athletic. Uh, that's uh, going to be our opening game in a brand new season. It's a 16-team competition. Let's have a look at the uh, the season preview very, very quickly. And as you can see, Glenn Roth's at 25 to 1. We are tipped to come around about 6th. Spartans, favourites at 9 to 4, followed by Bonnie Rig Rose at 3 to 1. Berwick Rangers, 9 to 2, and East Kilbride at 5 to 1. The um, Looking at the uh, club uh, vision, the board are expecting me to finish in the top half. I haven't got a problem with that. I really think this team can achieve that. In the Scottish Cup, we, they want us to reach the uh, the third round. South Challenge Cup, the fifth round. Um, I'd really like to have a good run in the Scottish Cup because that's where I think there's going to be money. And boy, oh boy, do we need money because uh, we're currently still £304,000 or nearly £305,000 in the red. But I am £1,800 under my wage budget, so I'm doing my best to try and um, help there. But um, I think we need a very good cup run and hopefully get to play a big premiership side like Celtic or Rangers and uh, bring home a lot of TV money to uh, reduce that uh, that uh, overall debt that we've got. But anyway, without uh, further chit-chat, let's get um, stuck into some football. Let's go and play Anan Athletic. Okay, here's the starting uh, 11 for today's match. We've got Richardson in goal, Paver, Bell, Strachan and Lumsden across our back line. Motruck, King, Marshews and McLeod Kane midfield, followed by Allen and Curry leading the attacking line. And on the bench we'll have Connor, Easton, Hammond, Edwards, Leslie, Stewart, Lovett and Scotty Miller. Unfortunately, Charlie Higgs has missed out today. He has suffered a groin strain in the final preseason match. He'll be out between um, 12 days and maybe a maximum of four weeks. So that was a bit of a blow because he was a very good striker for us last season. And Sean Lawton, he won't be featuring in today's match as he's recovering from a gashed leg also suffered in that final pre-season match. Anyway, let's go and chat to the boys. All right, well, for the opening day uh, of the uh, the season, not much to choose from there. I'll just tell the boys, go out there and have some fun. No pressure on them. Brand new league. They've uh, never played, as far as I know, in uh, the fifth tier of uh, Scottish football. But anyway, this is uh, Glen Roths in their traditional red strip getting the game underway and don't ask me what's happening with our stadium we were supposed to be moving to a new stadium but uh, for some reason I've received uh, no details about that and um, I'm pretty sure this is the old Beirut stadium that we're playing at today so I'm not quite too sure what's happening with our brand new stadium I guess we'll uh, find out a bit later on anyway this is King Getting the ball back from the opposition. Now McLeod K crosses into Marshews, had his shot blocked, and well, that's rather foolishly cleared for a corner. And this will be Motruck with the corner, long, deep. Now McLeod K gives it back to young Paver. But I think we've got a uh, free kick here in favour of uh, the Glens. Now Strachan, he can hit a ball rather nicely from the, from a free kick, but that's straight into the wall. I think he's going to knock it back, and he does to Lumsden. He lumps it up. He likes to do that. This is Curry. Oh, good shot by Marsh Hughes. And that was a pretty good save. They're mucking about with it there. I thought that defender should maybe just cleared it upfield. 
But anyway, this is a, an attack by an athletic and a good one. Goss is through. Oh, and he butchered that. Blasted it over the bar. Probably should have done better, but that was a good uh, good move by an athletic. Pretty sure an athletic. They have been a league side in the uh, in the past. Their name does ring a bell with me. Anyway, this is going to be Purdue now for the visitors. Can he mount another attack? We seem to have a uh, a fairly fine day for the opening game of the season here at uh, at the Rarut Stadium. No sign of rain falling, and once again, a bit of poor defending there. Good save by Richardson, but that wasn't very good defending there by by our defender. Seemed to get muscled off that uh, that ball very very easily. But so far in the opening ten minutes, I guess it's been fairly even. When you look at the uh, the stats, maybe we should be playing a little bit better. Anyway, Motruck with a free kick, and that's been headed away. King, a new signing in midfield, he'll get to it first. And he plays it back to young Paver, who's quite uh, quite quite a good young player. He can play right or left fullback. Now McLeod K, oh, brought down, well, oh, good tackle. Now King smashes it against the crossbar. Now here's Allen, the uh, the new striker, and he clears it all the way back to Paver. But that's the end of our highlight. Well, King with a fierce shot that hit the uh, the woodwork. I think we'll call out a bit of encouragement to the boys because they've been um, trying to lift their game in the opening fifteen minutes. And young Bell, be interesting to see how he goes in the centre of defence. One of our new young signings. I think he's only been signed as a fringe player. Anyway, Motruck, nice cross. Curry, oh, lovely. Typical Curry. So this is what he was doing all last season, putting the ball in the back of the net for us. And he, uh, he scores our opening goal of a brand new season. But this was a nice cross by Motruck. Very nice cross and Curry, good powerful header. Goalkeeper couldn't do anything about that. Okay, so a good opening, uh, maybe eighteen minutes for the uh, the boys getting uh, the first goal of the season. But Anan Athletic have shown that they can be dangerous when moving forward. Anyway, this is Strachan with the ball to King now Curry, and he's been robbed there rather well. So here comes Anan Athletic. Oh, good, good ball, and Purdue will get onto this. Can he cross a ball? And he can. Good header by Bell. Only as far as Wigget. Now Slattery for the visitors. Now this is Visa. Deep cross. Paver got his head to it. Motra clears it upfield. That's okay, just get it away from our penalty box, but it comes straight back. Oh, well, good. <laughs> well, that's a very good equaliser, I must admit, by w by Wigget. Maybe that wasn't such a good uh, clearance in the end, but uh, and now Athletic have uh, drawn level, I think, rather well here. It's Wilson putting it long. Nice header by Goss. And Wigget with a very nice finish that uh, beat uh, Richardson. So all tied up after maybe 21 minutes. But this is, uh, of course, the Lowland League. It's, I'm pretty sure it's going to be much tougher than uh, our previous two seasons. The East of Scotland Premier Division last, uh, last year ended up being a little bit easy for us. We, uh, we finished top by, I think, uh, a good nine points. But anyway, McLeod K, bit of fortune. Oh, nice, nice attempt. I think that hit the woodwork again. Nice attempt at uh, trying to chip the keeper. Anyway, we've got a corner. Allen will be the uh, the taker. And that's been cleared. Interesting, we've got Allen, one of our strikers, taking, uh, taking a corner. Anyway, this is uh, Bell from the centre of defence. Now Strachan. Looks for McLeod K out here on the right. 
Can he get a good cross in? He does, but that's been cleared. Only as far as Lumsden. Well, so far in the opening 30 minutes, a fairly competitive, even sort of uh, match we're watching. A good 19 degrees outside, so I guess that's pretty balmy for Scotland in the month of August, 19 degrees. And I think we'll demand a little bit more, maybe with the final uh, 10 minutes of this half to come. Be good if we can get a, a second goal and go into uh, the half-time break with, uh, with a lead. And this is Marshews. Nice ball to Curry. What can he do? Oh, he goes for goal. Blocked. Now McLeod K. He probably cut it back. He goes for a cross. Well defended. I'll say that now. Bell. He was just playing that forward. So Bell's done quite uh, quite well in our centre of defence. He's rating seven, which is that's pleasing to see, because he'll have a bit of competition for uh, that spot, and so will Strachan this uh, this season. Strachan might have been a little bit fortunate to get a new contract, but he was a little bit younger than uh, Flynn. That was the main reason why I gave Strachan. A new deal and instead of uh, Flynn. But anyway, McLeod K with another cross looking for one of our players in the centre. But uh, an, an athletic did a good job defending that uh, that cross. Now he comes Strachan to Marshews. Once again, our playmaker, McLeod K. Can you get another good deep cross in? He cuts it back for Marshews. This is King. He can have a crack. He does, but it's blocked. Now, Purdue was going to bring that away for the visitors, but the end of the highlight. Anyway, this is uh, Curry now looking for Allen and found him well. Allen is playing as a poacher. This is King to my shoes. Oh, lovely. Curry. Oh, well, very nice. Uh, I was going to say very nice finishing goal, but that was a very nice save. It, in the end, by the keeper. But a corner, Motrak should be the uh, the taker. Another deep one, but that's been headed away. Only a few minutes to go until half time, but we've had 15 shots to six. Certainly more possession, five corners to one. So we've um, been looking more dangerous than the visitors. Anyway, this is Lumsden playing it back to uh, Strachan. And uh, he looks looks forward for uh, McLeod K. Can maybe do a shot? No, he plays it out to Lumsden. He lumps it in. Maybe a bit of a deflection, deflection there. Now, anyway, this is... Oh, Alan. Alan got in there like a poacher. And almost, almost got a uh, shot on target. Another deep cross. Oh, don't tell me that's off the bar again. <laughs> Could that be the woodwork three times in in one half? It might be. Anyway, that's the halftime scoreline 1-1 one, one before 179 fans. That's a pretty good uh, roll-up, I think. And yes, we've had three shots come off the woodwork in the opening 45 minutes. Anyway, let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, halftime. We'd point the old finger and I think uh, we'll tell the boys we've been the better team. Let's keep doing what we've been doing. I think they have been the better team in the opening 45 minutes. But Anand Athletic did score a very, very good equaliser, but it's so frustrating. Three shots have hit the woodwork in the opening 45 minutes for uh, Glen Roths. But um, that's quite a common feature of FM 22. Nothing much we can do about it. Anyway, this is uh, McLeod K to Marshews. Now Lumsden, you probably look for um, McLeod K. Lumsden again. Now Marshews to Strachan. At least they're keeping possession. Now Curry, he'll go to the right. McLeod K. No, well, he tried. Well, he tried. I think he was going to try and beat his man, but he uh, lost out in the tackle. Now Goss can start an attack for Anand Athletic. This is Murray. Good shot. Oh, well, good shot. Good goal. And I think he was onside. So that's uh, 
No, he wasn't. He was offside. So that's probably a bit of a um, bit of a warning shot, I think, for us that we've got to be a little bit careful with uh, a Nan Athletic. They've got the players who can uh, hurt us if given the opportunity. But uh, a lot of the players are performing quite well. We just just got to somehow find uh, a way of putting the ball into the back of the net a second time. Jordan Allen is struggling a little bit in his opening game for us. And I think we'll make our first substitution in this match. We'll bring on Scotty Miller for uh, Jordan Allen. Scotty Miller would normally like to play a, a pressing forward, but I'll leave him as a poacher. Miller did quite well in uh, pre-season. He actually uh, wants to leave us. He wasn't too happy with all the, uh, the bench time he was getting last season. Anyway, this is Motruck with another corner. Curry, oh, once again, nice. He got his head to it, but just the wrong side of the post. As I was saying, uh, Miller uh, did want to leave us, but he did perform very well in pre-season. So I, I hope he changes his mind. With uh, Higgs out injured, he might get, um, well, that's a pretty good finish. No doubt about that goal, 2-1 to a Nan Athletic. So they have finally found the back of the net a second time. Probably wasn't the best of uh, clearances there, but um, an interesting ball back. And he just makes no mistake. First time strike McKee. So we've got a bit of work to do in the, uh, in the second half, that's for sure. Even though a lot of our players in the midfield and uh, some of our attacking players have been performing quite well, we've conceded two goals which is uh, not too good. Anyway, Strachan now with another free kick is a long way out, but he does go for goal, but um, that was wide of the target. So we've got maybe a bit over 20 minutes left in the match. Can we find an equaliser? Once again, we're playing with a positive mentality. That wasn't a very good pass by, uh, I think it was Lumsden. He gave up possession rather cheaply there. Long ball, played forward. Well cut out by Strachan. Now King. He looks for young Bell. He comes forward with the ball. He's got to go left and he does. This is Motruck. Can he get a cross in? He does. Who's on the end of this? Oh, well, Miller was, but he put his header over the bar. I think we'll make another substitution. And I think we'll bring on um, Charlie Edwards for Luke Motrak on the left wing. And, um, oh boy, oh boy, I think Greg Stewart. We'll get him on for Marsh Hughes. Greg Stewart will play a Mazala for us instead of an advanced playmaker. Let's see if those two um, substitutions brings us any luck with uh, maybe a bit over 15 minutes left in the game. Let's demand more from the boys. We are playing at home. It is the opening game of the season. Paver with the throw, a long throw. That's interesting. Not a very good one. Anyway, Visa will clear it for the visitors. Only as far as Strachan. And he'll bring it forward. Now this is Stewart. Now Strachan again is going to go to Lumsden on the right. He's, he looks for McLeod K. Got plenty of room out there for a bit of a run. Can he get a nice cross in? A good deep one. This is Edwards. Oh, oh, it's hit. The... <laughs> I think Curry got his head to the ball again, but it came off the post. That's four, four, uh, four times the woodwork has denied us with a goal. That is quite uh, frustrating. I think we'll go attacking with maybe barely 10 minutes left in the game. Well, I must admit that's pretty frustrating. Four shots against the woodwork. But anyway, it is uh, Football Manager 22. Anything can happen. But it looks as though, although we've had, uh, I think, the better of the game, and now an Athletic might be coming away with all three points today. And this is uh, Goss. 
making a good, strong run. We certainly don't want to concede a third because that will be the ball game for us. Anyway, this is Fleming. Oh, and his shot has gone thankfully wide of the post. Four minutes of out of time. Here we go. Can we maybe pull a rabbit out of the hat in the dying minutes of this match? Barely a minute left. What can we do? Well, Stewart has got the ball. This might be our last opportunity. This is Miller. Now, Edwards. Oh, come on. We've got to go forward. Bell, he's got to get the ball forward and quickly. Plays it long. A little bit too long. And an athletic will keep possession if they've got any uh, sense and try and run the uh, the clock down. And this is McGowan now. And they're doing well. Just keeping possession. That's all they've got to do. And that'll go out for throwing. But barely uh, 40 seconds left in the match. And I think I think that might be about it unless we can do something in the dying 10 15 seconds paver he's got to get it forward and this is king pumping it forward looking for miller he's found edwards and he oh he tried to play it through for miller but uh, it was intercepted well i think that's the ball game and it is opening day of the season a 2-1 defeat at home to an an, an, an athletic wasn't quite the uh the result I wanted, when you look at the uh, the match stats, 23 shots to 14, much better XG, 2.71 to 0.94. Four shots against the woodwork, 55% possession, nine corners to one, and we come away with nothing. Oh, well, at least there's uh, plenty of uh, matches left in the season. Let's go and chat to the boys. Well, I, I certainly won't throw the water bottle on uh, the opening day of the season, but let's point the finger and I've got to tell the boys that it was disappointing because I think we were the better side. Anyway, let's see what's going to happen next in the save. And as you can see, in seven days' time, we're away to the Spartans in the league. That's going to be a pretty tough game because the Spartans are tipped to uh, finish top of this league this season. And uh, having a quick look at the league table, you can see that Berwick Rangers, Cali Braves, East Stirlingshire, Bonus United, and An Athletic, and Gretna 2008 all secured opening day wins on the weekend and uh, Glen Roths are currently sitting in 13th position. Looking at the uh, the schedule, I think what we'll do, we've got the, uh, the Scottish Cup uh, first round coming up and also a bit later on the South Challenge Cup second round. What I'll do, well, I'll only show the South Challenge Cup games if we reach the semi-final, but I certainly would like to um, show all the Scottish Cup games that we can play this season since we've never been in that competition before. So I think we'll come back for, um, in our next video, we'll probably come back for Gala FR. That, that'll be an away game, so we'll play Spartans and East Kilbride. Um, offline and we'll come back for gala and see how we can perform in that particular match but that's the uh, the video for today unfortunately a 2-1 opening day defeat at home to an an athletic but let's face it we are playing in the lowland league this season and it's going to be a lot tougher for us i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please give us a thumbs up if you'd like to leave a comment please do until next time i'm barry foster saying it's goodbye from me